So thank you very much. And uh, and uh, yeah, uh, in fact, uh, you know, I'm hesitating to talk here because uh, the because of the organizers, they captured many good speakers, and uh, the standard of the talks are very high here, and. Uh, uh, I'm not quite sure that I can <laughs> <laughs> give a, a talk with such a high standard. So I'm hesitated, but uh, finally I decided to talk here. And uh, anyway, it, uh, I would like to thank uh, organizers to make uh, th th this conference and uh, to speakers that give so good talks. Okay, so today I'm going to speak uh, riemann hilbert correspondence and Laplace transforms. And uh, the artist partly with uh, joint work with uh, Andrea Daniolo. And uh, so I think many of them are uh, rather now old, but uh, I think it, I will try to uh, explain here some uh, the Riemann Hilbert correspondence in irregular case, and perhaps I change a little bit the presentation. Okay, so we consider a complex manifold, and we consider the category of uh, regular holonomic D modules. So the, uh, that is a derived category of dx modules with regular holonomic cohomology. And so it is known that uh, I proved it a long time ago that that is equivalent to the C constructive sieves. So it means that is a category of uh, vector spaces on X with uh, constructive cohomology, C constructive cohomology. C constructive means, say, there is a filtration of closed complex analytic subsets such that the sheaf is locally constant of finite rank on the differences. And of course, that is contained. So there is another notion, R constructive. Plus, it are constructive sieves are less familiar, but more or less that is the same thing. Here, that is, uh, we take the C analytic space, complex analytic space, but here we take the so called sub analytic space, sub analytic set. But I think so, it's something like semi. Uh, analytic set or semi analytic set. So uh, I think it, uh, I will not go into the details. And of course, that is context. Okay. And there is a functor, so-called drum functor, and it gives an equivalence. So drum functor is m to omega x tensor m. So that is a drum complex. So that is a sheaf of the highest weight form. So that is a right module. <coughs> so that is a more or less the regular case. So what happens in irregular case? So this one is contained. Uh, so that is a dx module with, with a holonomic cohomology. So that is a, it contains regular holonomic ones as a full subcategory. So now we don't take this one, but we take x times r. <coughs> so we add one variable. <coughs> and so here, so it contains our construct sieves on x cross r. <coughs> and uh, so we don't take that. 
we change a little bit. <coughs> so how we change it? So, so this is in fact monoidal category. So db or in fact you don't need a constructed but but that is is a monoidal category commutative monoidal category with respect to the uh, tensor product that I denote plus so that is by definition p1 inverse uh, l inverse G, where P1, so here x cross you consider R and P1, P2. So that is a projection to the first component and the second component. And mu is the addition map, T1, T2 goes to T1, T2. <coughs> so that is a kind of a convolution with respect to the second variable. So with this, this is a commutative uh, monoidal category. Okay. And a uh, 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 unit object is uh, just Cx cross zero. So that is a unit object. OK. So and now we can I think that there are many interpretations that uh, I will not go to the details. We consider this one. So the positive line. So this is a kind of item potent with respect to this tensor product. So that is Cx plus. Okay. <coughs> okay. <coughs> so that is a setting. And so we don't need to consider this, but we consider some kind of quotient. Or well, it's not exactly, well, we can say quotient. Q and I denote Rcx, okay, <coughs> or Cx. <coughs> so, what is this? So, that is object is F. R such that F tensor C T positive is isometric to F. <coughs> okay, so that is the object. And uh, at home is a little bit different. In fact, it appears in the talk of uh, Gilmo, in fact, but so yeah. Cx. Is the isomorphism part of the data as well? Or? Hmm? Is, the, is the isomorphism part of the data or you just really just pick an object? No. Ah, so there is a canonical map Ct equals zero, and that is uh, 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 a unit object. So that is canonical isomorphic, and the statement is that is isomorphic. Okay. So th that is a, a the property, not a structure. Okay. So <coughs> home f prime is home limit, inductive limit, say c goes to infinity, home f f prime. So, so that is a, in fact, because of this one, that is mu c or star f 
prime where you see is that translation by C. Anyway, so so that uh, it, this is an inductive system, and you take the homomorphism. So that is a homomorphism, <coughs> and uh, so that, that is a category. And of course, Q of F is uh, the one in here. You just uh, CT plus. Then, of course, it satisfied this condition because that is highly important. Okay. So, so it's a kind of a quotient, <coughs> and so the theorem is: it is there is some canonical uh, embedding. So, so he, that we denote the enhanced. So we call that is enhanced. Is it fully faithful? Ah, yes, yes. So the, that is fully faithful. Okay. <coughs> okay. So so what is this? I can't explain the details. That is more or less. So you add one variable. And you consider M, and you consider D, I think minus T, or T, T or, yeah, th that is drum and the solutions are different. I think that is, uh, I think that's correct. And so we don't take this, but we take some so-called tempered DC. Tempered function, but I think it, I'm not going to the details. Or, but so this functor gives a functor from here to here. So, <coughs> so that is the one. <coughs> okay. Yeah, so for example, for example, uh, uh, F in C, CR, so when it, X is a point and F is a CTR. F. So this one, if we consider that, then any object is a direct sum. So the st structure is very simple. C, uh, A, T, B. And shifted by some number. And A is a uh, real number and b is bigger than that, and b can be plus infinity. So the, that is it, uh, more or less the half line. So the, that is it. Then e uh, point, uh, c point, or as how I denote it, a c point. <coughs> so that is. In fact, any element is a direct sum of C uh, N. So there is only one object and the translation. So it is exactly same as a vector space. The they have the category of C vector space of finite dimension. <coughs> so that is a very small category in that sense, but in general it is not. <coughs> so, so that is a solution. And so, so the problem is, so you have the functor 
from fully phase factor from uh, should be here. Uh, the run factor from here to here. So the problem is what is the image of this one. And one answer is given, in fact, by uh, Takuro. And I think I'll explain it. And before I explain it, I would like to do something. So I see that there is a map x, y, f. <coughs> OK? <coughs> and I think we are assuming some suitable condition. But I think I'm a little bit teaching. For example, it are constructively here. R constructive here means so that is constructive uh, local constant on R uh, subanalytic set in x times alpha at R, but it including at infinity of R. So uh, there is some problem of infinity. So, but so. Uh, I'll skip that part, and so that is uh, somewhat irrelevant in this talk. So then you have usual operation to direct image and to Inverse image. So uh, that, it, that is rather easy. So you consider x cross r to x cross r. And uh, for example, e f q f is uh, q f tilde f. And e f star q f is q of uh, let me see r f star f and so on. <coughs> and similarly, there is a d module side. There is a we need some condition, but uh, I think uh, I will not talk about that. There is a corresponding o operation. So uh, I write d, df, df, to uh, push forward and to inverse image. And so the proportion is they commute each other. They are compatible with enhanced term factor. So you can to calculate. So the the term factor of this one. So that is one part. And I'll make another remark. So, so let us take O x star y, where y is a closed hypersurface, and if is a holomorphic function with poles in y, and then you can consider the phi. So, in in terms of, of connection, that corresponds to O x star y to d plus d f uh, omega 1 x star f. And so you consider enhanced. <coughs> 
So th that can be uh, calculated. Uh, yeah, in some sense. So, so Q, let me see. E, phi. <clears throat> and uh, perhaps it's not exactly correct. So Ej star Ej minus. Anyway, so j is x, y, x. And uh, so this part means q to the c, t, v, f, i. <coughs> OK, so in this case, you can calculate it very explicitly. But the, this one is rather hard to calculate. But anyway. So you, you, you can calculate. OK, so and another remark is for the curve case. So now, typical case, you take the disk and we consider the holonomic D delta modules, M, and with singularity at only at the origin. <coughs> then, and you consider the enhanced drum of M. So that is well known. So the condition, so it satisfies the following property. So that is, uh, I think it already ap appeared several times. So you take any direction. Then you can find a small tubular or sectorial neighborhood U such that uh, pi is x cross r to x, or delta. <coughs> so you restrict to this one, then that is in a particular form. Okay. <coughs> okay. <coughs> J and there is and Fj is a QC series OU, and that is a QC series. So uh, I don't know how to say uh, uh, Z1 over M, uh, Z inverse. <coughs> so uh, you can write it in this way. <coughs> so, but here, of course, uh, your part Fj is isomorphic to Ce Fj plus G if G is bounded. Because, uh, because uh, of the definition of the home, because of the de definition of home, and so if she is big, then it, that part, it part kills this part. <laughs> so it, in fact, the, that is, we can consider Fj, but it is modulo bounded function. A anyway, so. Um, yeah. So we say, I think Maxim says something, but uh, I can't remember. So we write MJ is a multiplicity of M uh, with respect to FJ. Okay. <coughs> so that is well defined. Okay. 
So now I can state the theorem that uh, Takro So image of drum consists of of K such that for any F delta to X you consider E F inverse K and you consider the commodity group has the form this form this form okay so in this case say we say that k is c constructible then so in the terminology that is c constructible So it means so you cut by a curve, and if for any curve, uh, if that is a normal form, then that is an image. So that is a characterization. So curve test M. <coughs> so that is true. Okay. <coughs> so uh, now the problem here. So so that is a rather good, good characterization, but uh, I think it's not very, still not very satisfactory, in the sense that, for example, so you consider those categories. Okay. So those category, uh, I mean, uh, the category of K satisfying those conditions, and that can be defined for any base field. <coughs> so here we take complex number field as the base field, but you you, you can take another one or Z or uh, uh, those base ring then still you, you can define it. And the problem is, for example, so you can define those categories. And then the problem is if that is stable by the push forward or pull back, I think it's easy, but for push forward, it, I don't know how to prove it. So that is a one point. <coughs> so that is not well, uh, for me, uh, uh, I think that I don't uh, understand well. And uh, so uh, another problem is, or, or not problem, or uh, another thing that I don't know is, uh, so uh, for example, if you consider the D modules, then its characteristic variety is very, it's very important. And uh, usually, many properties is a lo micro local properties. So it means you can consider M here and uh, uh, you can analyze it. For example, holonomic D module to be regular holonomic. So that is a micro local property. So you, you can ca characterize it micro locally. But uh, I don't know this part. Ah, yeah, it, I didn't tell what is the, so that is a so, uh, somewhat algebraic part, that is a topological part, and what is the function? So the, that is uh, f goes to pi plus f, I see. Okay, so that is a and uh, so by this, so so for example, this one is uh, 
So that is free phase. <coughs> so, so th 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 those patterns uh, I don't still uh, understand. That is a future problem. Okay. <coughs> Okay, so <coughs> so there is a so my title is Laplace transform, and I think it are a little bit um, Laplace transform. So Laplace transform is you have vector space and the dual of vector space, then uh, d module, and say. Uh, that is algebraic D modules. So that is isomorphic. So the art is well known. And the art is comes, say, Z and W. So there is a correspondence, the well known correspondence, uh, Z to W. So by this, the DV module corresponds to D. Or Complex. So the other C vector space. Okay. So that can be interpreted in this way. So that is a usual one. So you consider D module on the tensor vista as Z W. And you so you consider M and P one, P two. Uh, D, P, 2, or M, okay. <laughs> or, so that is in terms of D module side, and by enhanced drum, you can go to the enhanced drum side, then E is isomorphic to E G star in a similar way. So that is K goes to uh, E P E P one inverse K. Ah no, ah, that's a plus and drum of this one. Uh, the drum of the, this one is C. Okay. <coughs> yeah. So by this correspondence, so that is an isomorphism. So it corresponds to the, 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 this one. <coughs> okay. Uh, so. Then uh, we can ask uh, what happen uh, what happens here, for example, the, uh, if you give D modules, what do you get D star modules? And for example, in the wide dimensional case, so local behavior is well known, then how it changes by the transform. And of course, that is already known, I think, it's already known by the work of many people, Saba, Eno Spencer, or Malgrange, and so on. But uh, I think that I will. Pass. It's not exactly formulated in this way, so I think I will give a formulation. It's somewhat. With a micro local description. So I think it is worth to write explicitly. Well, I think it's an, it, it is already known, but so, so this kernel. Oh. 
This kernel gives somewhat uh, <coughs> a contact transform of Z CT space to say it doubles the data. Data is a co cotangent or a co covector corresponding to W, say T prime. And uh, let me see. So W is minus zeta, z equal to C. So it corresponds to this correspondence. And uh, T prime is T plus C. So by this correspondence, dt plus theta dw is dt plus dz. Okay. <coughs> so that is a well-known correspondence. Okay. So <coughs> now you take some point in z space. No? Let me see. Ah, uh, that w is uh, z equals zeta. W is minus c. I'm sorry. <coughs> I think it's correct. But anyway, so 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 you have a, say those you correspond to you choose the theta and the u, then there is a piece of function defined on u that is given by the piece of series. OK, so we consider this data. And you transform by this correspondence. So, so First, you consider CF. CF is this one. At the C, such that C is TFZ, and uh, the F is zero. Or C is F prime. <coughs> okay. okay. And you say this correspondence, we shall write L. So you consider LCF. Then, uh, in a general case, if F is bounded, it is not. But, but uh, otherwise, so that can be written CG, where G is, so there's some W0 and some V, and G is defined here. So you, it has the same form. And W0 is, of course, I think, minus or plus. Uh, w is minus C, so that is minus limit. Okay. <coughs> so, uh, let me see. So by using this one and uh, by this topological uh, with isomorphism, we can prove the following thing. For example, so so if Z is so some constant times Z minus Z is zero power say minus lambda plus some higher order term because that is PCC. So we shall say lambda is degree of F. And uh, so lambda must be so uh, let me see. Uh, or order of f. So say if z is v and order of f is positive, 
then w is infinity and uh, the s is zero is infinity and lambda is positive then w is infinity and then the w is zero uh, equals zero is that <coughs> so they corresponding if that one so then we can prove that uh, so the I defined the multiplicity the multiplicity of f so of m is multiplicity of g of the transform uh, I don't know so, so I denote the same l L of M. So I think the, this fact is, as I said, it, it is already known, I think, by many people. I don't know who is the first, and, but uh, as I said, that uh, perhaps at the end of Spencer Block is the first, uh, I don't know. You, you know it, sir? Close. Many people. Many people, so I don't know, yeah. Margo Angel. Yeah. So there are too many people so involved. So anyway, so that is obtained uh, by the, this the consideration. And so, the pro so here the problem is, so that is a in fact, uh, I derived it microlocally, but uh, microlocally is still not well adapted here. So, because because f is not uniquely determined, so you can choose another f. Then the micro support change in some sense, and I don't know how to deal with it. So anyway, so I hope that uh, those uh, there are still uh, many things that we don't understand on the topological part of irregular T modules, and I hope we can I can continue to clarify those parts. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, thank you, Maseki. So, are there questions? Yes, about. Yeah. Uh, so, if you want to change the base field, yes, you, you can change the base field at, at the level of E. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what, why isn't, isn't it sufficient to change the, ba the, the base field at this level to define a Q structure? Yeah, for example, Q structure. Yeah. Yeah. Then. Uh, Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, <coughs> what Q structure was uh, maybe, yeah, you, you can go to characteristic P or, yeah. So, perhaps it, uh, I don't understand your question correctly. Something that the, the yes. theorem was not uh, enough to define, uh, to change the, the base field, the theorem of Takuro. Yeah. Uh, but what, why is it not enough? Can you? Ah, ah, ah. So, so, uh, so y y if you change, then you can define the category. Yeah. So that part is easy. But uh, for example, I don't, I don't know if they are stable by the, those operations. And that was the tensor product. And that is important for the, uh, the application. So I think, so this part is a substitute or the, the irregular, uh, what is a good word? 
irregular counterpart of the power sheaves. And so I think it is, uh, 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 I think it, it is important to know with the other base field. But, um, my question is, wh why is it not, I isn't it enough to, to change the base field at, for E of Cx changed by E of some base field? Yeah, yeah, we can change. You no, know, no, this part is OK. So, so for, for example, the art is well defined. So for NK, yeah? So the problem is the, the, this part. So the art one is what we want. And so say, so say the art is if we do not see constructible Kx, so you change all K. And then, so we can define the category, but, but we don't know the invariance by those operators. I think for inverse image, perhaps it is easy. Uh, 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 maybe, <laughs> yeah. Are there other questions? No, so thank you. Thank you.